Hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Let's uh, check out uh, Arcade Archives Silkworm running on Nintendo Switch. Ah, yes, Silkworm. I remember playing this as a kid in the uh, arcades when there were such things. And I uh, just remember being like incredibly difficult. <laughs> And I also remember uh, a lot of talk in uh, game magazines, you know, because, I mean, this is pre-internet, right? So there's not a, a lot of ways to discuss things with uh, with the outside world, outside of, you know, your own little friend group or your school. Uh, and um, and uh, magazine editors and writers, you know, really loving Silkworm uh, and saying how popular it is. But... Uh, you know, in the arcade, when I went to the arcade, like, nobody ever played Silkworm. <laughs> it was just one of those machines that was in the arcade, but but it seemed like nobody ever played it. You know, you put one quarter into that thing, realize that it, the game was, like, kicking your ass. You might put another quarter in to uh, try the uh, try the Jeep or the helicopter or whichever one you didn't try the first time and go, yeah, well, this game is hard. <laughs> I don't know how I'd feel about it now. I, I actually haven't played the arcade version of Silkworm for a very, very long time. Um, but uh, yeah, let's find out. I think it's interesting there's only one version. There's not a, a, a Japanese release. At least that's on uh, that's on this version. Yeah, this is exactly as I remember it. <laughs> it's just like, how the hell are you supposed to get through all this stuff? Uh, it wasn't later on, until later on that I learned that uh, it's actually easier to play this game as the Jeep than it is as the helicopter. You'd think the helicopter would be uh, would be easier. Switch. stingy on the fire rate. I think that's one of the things that makes it so hard.
I'd say the graphics hold up pretty well. I mean, it's like every other pixel is colored in, but uh, but it, you know, the overall art is still pretty good. letters, it's not like a bunch of numbers and stuff. Hmm. I guess I have to figure out how to actually play as the as the Jeep. Kind of an interesting way to handle it. Oh yeah, maybe it's not that much much easier as the Jeep. <laughs> That's pretty tough. At least the Jeep can fire fast. Like I said the uh, the helicopter is just it's such a low fire rate. Well, that's, not, that's, uh, that's exactly as I remember, it just being really tough. <laughs> uh, but uh, but well designed, you know. I think um, I think now that I've uh, now that I'm older, I can appreciate it a little bit more. But uh, when I was younger, the game was just it was just too hard, and you know your quarters were valuable. <laughs> so if you couldn't play a game for more than a minute, then uh, yeah, forget it. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, really wasn't worth it. But uh, we'll go and stop there. Uh, this is Autobots for you. You've been watching Arcade Archives Silkworm uh, running on Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nice, faithful translation, as always. Um, so uh, if you have fond memories of playing Silkworm, the arcade version, uh, I, I know a lot of people uh, grew up with the NES version. Uh, and that's that's the game that they uh, that they remember as Silkworm. Uh, but that game was a much easier game. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you hadn't 
experienced the arcade version, then uh, you're probably going to be in for a, a bit of a surprise <laughs> on how difficult the game is. Uh, but it's still fun, and I think the challenge is something that can be uh, easily overcome. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.